All right, man. What's up, YouTube, man? Part three right here, man. Thank y'all for watching the rest of these videos, man. Your boy, Bar Reacts. Come with you another reaction. You feel me? Today, we got Deadly Dance Battle in Bronx. K-Flop versus your D-Thang. You feel me? So, we're going to go into this video. Hit the subscribe button. On the road to 1K subs. You feel me? So, if y'all would, I'd be really appreciated if y'all dag on. Took the time out y'all dare to dag on. You feel me? Get at the video. Get out of the video and hit a like, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to my boy Kid Nerd. You feel me? Let's go and finish this video off, man. Part three right here. Let's get into it, bro. Let's get into it. Flux life will take a turn for the better. After the recent successes in his songs, it was clear he was a big star in the bronze. It was rumored that K Flux had signed a multi million record deal with Capitol Records, and it wasn't hard to see that K Flux had just signed a big deal. With him flexing on his socials with a new bust down Carty and chain while driving new foreign cars throughout his hood. But in 2021, while K Flux was moving up in the world, back at home in the bronze, the war was starting to get worse. Less than a few weeks before, before K Flock took the deal, another member of the YGs called Ty Swish was shot dead inside his apartment block. And Damn. only four days after this, bro, these the niggas young as hell, bro. K Flock's gang called J Rip K was also shot dead. The most shocking thing about this murder was that J Rip was only 13 years old. Reports from police say that the possible motive for J Rip's killing was due to him possibly having a role in the murder of Ty Swish, with J Rip allegedly being on the side of the murder when it happened. Two 16 year old YG's members were wanted for the murder of J-Rip K, one being a rapper called Rajis. But before the feds could get to Rajis, the ops got there first. Nine hours Damn, the, the ops could put up first? It's crazy. Rajis got into the back of a cab on his way to a recording studio. When the cab got to East 178th Street, the car got stuck in traffic. This is when two boys pulled up next to the cab in a scooter and let off shots into Rajis, killing him instantly inside the cab at 16 years old. Sevside rapper K Flock Damn. seemed constantly reminiscing on his younger friend J Rip in his lyrics and on social media. K Flock is even seen running to J Rip's aid after hearing he was shot and collapsed at a local restaurant. But unfortunately, it was all too late. After his friend's murder, K Flock started to elevate in his music, dropping hits after hits. It seemed like a dedication to make it out of the Bronx streets. But even despite signing a multi million dollar deal, it seemed like his heart was still in the streets, still videoing himself touring his arts block and arguing with rival YG's members on Insta Live. And in December 16th, 2021, this got him into some serious deep trouble. Wearing the Moncler jacket and some Amiri jeans, a masked up man starts to post up on his Ots block in Sugar Hill, territory mm. of the old wise gang. The masked up man then proceeds to FaceTime his Ops, letting him know that he's on his block. And while he's walking through the block, he's confronted by a man who spots him in the barbershop. An argument breaks out and the man is shot in his neck and back and later dies in hospital. K Flock was actually identified to be the alleged masked up man and the shooter in this case. And on the 23rd of December, K Flock actually hands himself in the police authority after being wanted for the murder. I'm not going to go too deep into his case because obviously it's still ongoing, but hopefully he is innocent. And on the other side, K Flock's op. Damn, so Brandon going to jail up? I, t I know. Listen, and the YG's rapper D Fang. I was wondering, I was like, I, the way that he, the, the dude talking about the whole thing. You would think K Flock like invincible on some shit. I ain't really they ain't really talking really about D thing and what he got going on for real. If we talking about K Flock, K Flock really daggone blossomed and shit like that, you feel me? But like, damn, bro. I I had a feeling something was gonna happen because K Flock, he was always he seemed like he's bro always into some shit, you feel me? And he damn wants the attention and like nothing really happened to him type shit. He was on some King Von type shit. King Von, yeah, he won't really dag on doing the shit he doing, but like He's just one of them dudes that always gets out of situations somehow. You know, you all know that one dude that always somehow gets out of certain situations no matter what it is type shit. K Flock, one of them dudes. King Von was one of them dudes, but he found that he 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 met his maker eventually. But like, yeah, man, eventually, bro, you keep on doing bad stuff. Eventually, bad stuff gonna happen to you. But y'all know this already. Big trouble as well. He's currently locked up for 21 different criminal charges. God damn! Gun possession and drug charges. And if he's found guilty for most of the charges, he's looking at a long time in jail. Now, K Flock and D Fang are both sitting. Nah, he getting out. Nah. Come on, now, Boosie got out. Come on, now, you know he getting out, bro. K Flock got that bread too, multi million dollar deal. He getting out. I'll give him about, if the most he's gonna get is about five years. 
Two to, I gave him about two to five years, bro. Gel complex. Known for his poor conditions and violence. It's also a gel that most people who are awaiting the trial in New York go to. A lot of different gangs are situated inside the prison, which causes a lot of violence. K-Flock and D-Fang even bumped into each other and got into a little situation while locked up. And after the situation, both dropped freestyles dissing each other through prison phone lines. K-Flock states that he jumped D-Fang. But D Fang states that K Flock is lying. K Flock, why you not doing that? This son of a hot me, you know that cat. And for what? We gonna get to the fact you saw me take the face and you wasn't on that. Like, stop the lying it. We clip out with it, I stop firing. It's starting to look like the Bronx is becoming a trap impossible to get out of. With some of the most promising artists being taken down before they being can get out. Being taken down by the, the by the, the feds. Lee Drilly being charged for a murder. An up and coming Southside rapper Seahawk being brutally shot down in the car. And one of the most hottest rappers, Dougie B, from Southside being in and out of jail. And YouTuber even trying to take down his tracks. Hopefully more Bronx artists start to realize that this is a way out. And in the future we could possibly start to see the biggest artists in hip hop coming from the Bronx. It's been your boy K yeah. and peace out. Yeah, they do be having some hard ass rappers and shit in, in Bronx, but then y'all just don't be there. Y'all be on the shit y'all talking about, but like on some real shit though, that shit ain't really gonna help y'all out in the future, but it's gonna get y'all just locked up and y'all be gonna be losing hella bread on some shit. But damn, I mean, do what y'all do, you feel me? I'm just a reactor, you feel me? Y'all do what y'all do. But um, that's it for the video. Hit subscribe button, man. Turn on post notifications for more videos, bro. I'm about to drop these hoes right now, bro. Um, more videos will be on the way. Um, more content will be on the way. Appreciate y'all for going out your way to dag on you for me. You feel me? Go crazy for your boy, man. All support, all love. It is what it is, man. More vids like this will be on the way if I'm going to react to some more. On the road to one band, though. One, one thousand. Oh, shout out my boy Aspirin, by the way. But on the road to 1,000, man, come on, girl. On the way to 1,000 subs, man. On the way to 1,000 subs, man. Hey, couldn't have done it without y'all boys, man. For real, for real, bro. Appreciate all y'all that been watching my videos. And it's been daggone showing y'all support for your boy. You feel me? I damn gonna be dropping videos for y'all. Y'all go and check that video right here out. This sweetest song went viral on TikTok. Y'all go and check that out. You feel me? Whole lot of more content on the way, man. We go. Yeah, we going crazy all damn year, you feel me? So, appreciate y'all. Y'all support, man. Videos, dropping videos every single day, you feel me? Videos every single day. Some real street shit. All right. But that's it for the video. Subscribe button, man. Your boy, baby, is gone, man. Appreciate y'all watching the video. We gone. Gang. God damn, boy. Gang.